Yeah, it's up to you how you want to approach that. Yeah. What the fuck? Who did that? Hey! Just some hey. fellow traders <laughs> throwing rocks. Oh, Billy, wait till you wait till I get to the uh, Batal area of the game. The the encounters there are absurd. Like it's offensive. How much? Like Don't how many enemies? How many enemies they throw at you? It is fucking offensive and insulting. Is it like two? No, it's like every three feet. There's like another swarm of enemies. It's either bandits or it's goblins or it's harpies or saurians, and it's the same types of enemies over and over again. But it's like you can't walk like two feet without like without running into either. enemies. It's so annoying. It I sounds. Hate uh, it. it I, sounds like an ARPG. A, I fucking hate it, dude. Like, yes, the combat is like the highlight of this game, but like when they um, when you're forced to constantly do it. Yeah, when you're forced to constantly do it and, and the same the, enemies. It, well, that and then also like they've got this much larger world and more detailed world for you to explore, and you just want to explore it. Like, that's the whole point, right? Is to, like, explore this cool world. Like, you know. See, that's such a, like, double-edged sword because... I know. Yeah, if you fill your world with too many enemies and too many things, then you're taking away from the person's enjoyment of, like... Yeah. You know, being able to play the game and... Make it feel like it's kind of like a, a not a leisurely journey, but yeah. like a you know a metered but, one. But you compare it to you know even like a what's it called like an Elden Ring type of situation. Like you can freely explore for the most part. Like yes, there's enemies, but it's not constant. You know, like yeah. you can at least like see something and like go and explore it. <laughs> but then in this game, it's like constantly. There's just enemy after enemy after enemy after yeah, enemy. Yeah, that's the thing. It just becomes tedious because you're having to constantly yeah. fight adversary, mm-hmm. adversity yeah. instead of just being able to like chill and do your thing. Yeah. And then, you know, when you want to go do a lot of fighting, you can. Yeah, exactly. Hell up. Gotta revive my guy. Yeah, the Batali region is terrible for this because, like, like the first time you go there, because you want to explore. Like, there's a lot of like caves and shit and whatever, most of which are pretty uneventful. Like, I honestly kind of wish that they had kind of, at least in some cases, designed it like they did in in Elden Ring, where there's like a boss character at the end or something like that. I mean, there's a few like that, but very few. Um, and that and that ultimately was my problem with Elden Ring is that part felt too video gamey because it's like. Every dungeon has to have a boss. And yeah. We're repeating the same bosses a million times. Yeah, that is definitely the problem with Elden Ring is the the lack of variety, which is another Smell problem with this game too. Oh yeah, no, this game has it too for sure. One hundred fucking percent. I think I have to shoot the the thing off the door for this one. Or can I just go in there? Or maybe it's another one I'm thinking of. Is it this one? There's one of these I gotta shoot the bar off. Oh, I think it's this one. Yeah. There's like a bar. Block it in. Hello. Nope. There we go. Kinda weird perspective shit going on there. You did your best, Chadwick Davis. Ooh, a shield. Chadwick might like that. Can I hold, hold on? Can I give that to you? Is that better? Oh yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit better. Here, bud. Oops. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, master. Thank you, Kitaba. <laughs> oh, there's enemies in here. Hello. Be a good boy. Maybe I'll crush you. <laughs> be a, be a good boy. Maybe I'll put you between my thighs. <laughs> I'll crush your little head between my thighs later. Yes, mommy. I can't wait to hear that kitty purr. It's funny being able to find Seeker Stokers again, because I actually found all of them in, in the PC version. What does Seeker Stokers do? They're like, uh, just like they get you rewards. Like you, if you, um, every so many that you collect, or like, uh, 
like milestones, like at the seeker or the fucking vocation guild or whatever. Uh, okay. It gives you, it gives you uh, the rewards. amount, the amount of uh, so like no tokens I, you find are like it's like finding artifacts and starting and giving them to Gunther. Yeah, yeah. It's like every uh, shut up. This is a fucking thing. They need to get rid of the fucking. Oh, yo, you fuck. That's something I don't know why they put that in the game. That's a pawn that I can hire, but yeah. it triggers the dialogue even though I didn't talk to him. He just I don't understand. He who gets thought within that? Your, your fucking yeah. range, and he's just like, "Hey, who the fuck thought that I was see a good idea?" I see you're working with other pawns. Do you want to work with me? Christ, who the fuck thought that was a good idea? Who who greenlit that idea? Some Japanese. That should have been thrown in the fucking trash. It's terrible. Fuck. There's a mod that you can get to stop that from happening, but you should just. They should again, again yeah, have that again, built into the game. The game. <laughs> um, here's your enemies again. Yep. Um, but yeah, like once you, I think it's like you know, five seekers tokens, you get this. At fifteen, you get this. At twenty-five, you get this, you know, whatever. If you get a hundred of them, then you get to save the spider family in uh, a legend, uh, hey. uh, Ocarina of Time. Also, they made the clouds look like garbage in this. I don't know how they managed to do that. Just probably shit sky mocks. Yeah. Again, something that should be pretty relatively easy to fix or make better, and they just didn't. <laughs> and don't get pulled away from these. I know. I got a fucking the like... the griffin will come. Where are you at? I need to head back to the fucking guild and get some better abilities and shit too. <laughs> I might, I might change to a fighter because I don't really like playing as the archer. Let's see how it is, Taylor. I set you up for. You set me up a failure, bitch. <laughs> I set you up to be a sexy. I mean, the archer's fine. Archer, I'm not saying the archer. Archer bad. cat lady, and you just. <laughs> What? I like that he's like going for the high five and you're going for the high five, and but because of how tall, <laughs> yeah, because how tall you are, you just smack him in the face. Does he level up twice? Yeah. What? Why did he level up twice? Why did he level up twice? What the fuck just happened? You just did a whole bunch of stuff. But why did I level up twice? The early levels happen very quickly in this game, I will say, but, like, I don't understand why I leveled up two times okay. from just, like, a little tiny encounter. I yeah, don't know what happened. just a small skirmish. I don't know. That's weird. Anyway. Who, who's tootin'? Who's tootin'? I'm probably back there. I ain't going back there. Fuck you. Please, we're all dying. And then everybody and then everybody hates the the lack of fast travel in this game. I don't mind it that much because they still at least offered more options. Like you can get on the ox carts and they uh, like will like sometimes get you to places that you can go. And there's like ox cart routes and shit like that. Um, so I don't mind that too much. But like the problem that I have is like they do have the fast travel points that you can use with the fairy stones, mm -hmm. like you did in the first game. But the two that they have in the game by default are, like, the ones in the main city, capital, fine, that makes sense. But the other one is in the fishing village, which is, like, not a major, like, city or anything. <laughs> and, like, you hardly ever go there throughout the game. There's really nothing noteworthy there. But then you get to Batal, or Bak Batal, which is, like, the desert, like, capital city. And there's not a fast travel point there. And it's like, what the fuck were you thinking? Yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't you have a major city? Yeah. Up? Like, the two major cities should have hard set fast travel points, but they didn't do like, that. I can understand if they have the hard set ones and they're just inconvenient. Like, I get that. That sometimes happens in games. Yeah, but, but like... It the, should have would, one at least. You would think that the capital city one... Like, the capital city would have a fucking fast travel point. Yeah. But it doesn't. You have to make your own with the port crystals. And it's like, what the fuck were you smoking? You goddamn pieces of shit. 
Like, do we have to make the game for you? Do we have to tell you what to do? Yeah. Oh, shut up. I don't want to talk to him right now. Fuck him. He can wait. Alright. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's give you some Seekers tokens. Oh, Oh, fairy stone. Great. So this thing here, this charming corset is like the most bullshit thing in the game also. Because... For me, at least in my experience, it's uh, got the highest defense and magic defense of any fucking item in the game. See but it's a corset. <laughs> so it's like lingerie. Oh, nice. And you can wear it as either male or female, which is great, but it's like... Chitara's gonna look great. It only takes... Yeah, and it, but it like takes up both like torso and leg um, oh, armor, so okay. you can't put anything else on <laughs> And I was pissed because I'm like, why is this the best armor in the game? <laughs> like, it's so dumb. I don't understand what they were thinking. Uh, I do like this idea, too. So I actually have to unlock the warrior and sorcerer um, vocations, which I think is fine. Mm -hmm. um, we have to go to the, um, what's it called? The Trevo Mine is where we're going. We have to get, uh, like I guess, like their weapon shipment got fucked or something. So we've got to um, go and find like actual weapons for both of those um, vocations, which I think is cool. I think that stuff is fine. Uh, I don't really like any of these. I'll get keen sight. Fuck it. So that I guess way you can snipe. Yeah, at this point I have to kind of like get some better abilities and shit. Okay. Yeah. Swift knock. Swift knock in the nuts. That's what they called me in high school. Ooh, when targets are not in battle stance. Sure. And they used to call me cock knocker. What's Chadwick? What do you need to do? Nah. Gouging skewer. That's a good one. Let's get him that one. And uh, impeccable guard. That's a good one, too. And we'll give him the tusk toss, we're giving this, and then, oh, I can't get him that one, but that's fine. Let's make it metal. All right. Let's fucking metal. Cool. I cannot simply purchase more, so regrettably I cannot assist. Let me see. What else can I do? I didn't ask. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to. We okay. didn't need to talk You didn't need that. to keep. What the fuck? Why is there a goblin here? I don't know. Why is the city guard? Oops. I almost kicked an innocent bystander. Oh, he did. Sometimes that does happen. Like, they're just random enemies will appear for some reason inside the town, but it's like, how did they get in here? The city guards really just letting anyone <laughs> in now. Know. See, they don't care. Well, they were a bunch of goblin traitors. Oh, you, well, you! I gotta capture you! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, Tay. That's a side quest here. There's a guy spying on me. See, kind of part of the main quest is a dude is spying on me because they know that I'm the actual Arisen, and yet what does it mean that they know this information? No. Nothing. It means absolutely nothing. They don't do anything with that information. I was supposed to, oh, they're supposed to arrest him, but I killed him too fast. <laughs> Whoopsie. No, I'll revive him. That's fine. I don't want to, it's a waste of a wake stone, but fuck it, you get so many of the damn things anyway. You're the savior. Yeah, I like that he gets right back up and starts fighting you again. <laughs> yeah, Instead like, of learning his you just lesson. Do, you just experience death and you're like, whatever. You get brought back to life by the person that you just attempted to kill. And then you just start getting curb stomped again <laughs> after you attack. Alright, lay off him, lay off him. If he dies again, I'm not reviving him. Okay, well. They're, they're supposed to come and arrest him. I don't know why they're not, so. Because <laughs> the kids. Oh, hi. Hey! <laughs> I know it's a shooting <laughs> guy. He's running around his dead ass body. 
Save this old man's time is up. <laughs> well, yeah, I just saw the just saw his uh, ads get curb stomped. I don't think anything happens with his quest. I don't honestly know, and I don't care. So um, if this if this playthrough gets botched because of that, then whatever. I, I don't think it matters. But I'll if I have to revive him again, I'll do it later when I get more uh, wake stones. Yeah, because most likely you're just gonna get him killed again. <laughs> You're not, like, supposed to be able to kill him that easily. <laughs> like, that's fucking ridiculous. You just got some curb stomp in the man. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, though. All right, Chadwick. Ooh, that's pretty good for you. Hell yeah. Thanks, in through the nose, out through the mouth, bud. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Put all that in there. Put that in there. I have any other shit that I don't need. Got a bunch of rings. Got some rotten meat. Ooh, yummy. My favorite, rotten meat. Mm -hmm. It actually does have a use. Um, you can create uh, oh. lantern oil with it. Oh, okay. So you burn in the tallow. Burning the fat. Yeah, well, you, yeah, or like it, like you can craft it into um, uh, oil. Though, in the PC version, I have got a mod for a super lantern, so I don't need to get oil. <laughs> I put it on my hip and it just do what it do. Yeah. Shut up. Nobody asked you. All right. Um, so the other thing is, too, like, the house that I'm staying at, like, that's just the lady's house that I did the quest for. Yeah. You can get, I think, one or two houses in this game, but the nobody's come to get him, huh? He just laid there all night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was complaining. I was there to stop him. This person's like, I'm hungry. <laughs> Watching this dead guy. <laughs> That guy's body, and she's just like, I can go for some, like, <laughs> some eggs. That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I finished the quest. I guess that's it, huh? There's nothing else for me to do? Turns out that's the easiest okay. way to complete the quest. You, you just fucking murder the guy. There's supposed to be a whole thing where they, like, interrogate him, and then you... I don't remember what comes of it. I don't think anything really of, of importance, but still, like, they're supposed to capture him and interrogate him. <laughs> like, I just killed him and he's done. He's fucking Dunyan Rings, dude. I interrogated him fine when I knee was in his <laughs> yeah. fucking back. Actually, why am I going this way? I should go the other way. There's another way out of town that lead is more direct to where I'm supposed to go. It goes along that, like, bridge thing over there. Yeah, I think they're gonna. So the the weird thing is too with Capcom now is that they've like listed Dragon's Dogma as like a primary like IP that they want to I think work on or they they, they designated it as like a An primary actual. IP despite having not released any new games for over a decade with it. But like, but since this one did so well, I think it sold pretty well because like there obviously is like a a fan base that wants it. Like I obviously really wanted this game. Well, this game actually kind of blew up a bit online. Yeah, for a little bit, yeah. And then, um, it, you know, like I say, I think it's okay, but, like, it's just, it's insane to me that they still can't, like, make a game better than the first one. <laughs> like, the yeah. first one came out in 2012, and I, I arguably think it's better than this one, but, like, you know, this, this has some things that are better, but, like, there are some things that aren't better. So it's like, I don't know. It's weird. I, I just, I don't know. A little like overall, I would say I'm a little bit disappointed with this one, like as it came out. But I guess the, the promises or like the idea, anyway, is that people are kind of expecting them to do a DLC for this, like they did for the first game. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that they at least like try and up it a little bit. I don't anticipate that they're gonna like, you know, 
fix a lot of the problems. There's a lot of people in the comment sections that are like, oh, the story sucks. I hope they make it better with the like, updates. Like, they're not going to. Yeah, that's not going to get Like, that's not, that's not going to happen. <laughs> they might do some fun things, maybe fix a couple of minor problems. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The story's man. too far gone. Uh, yeah, the story ain't, they ain't gonna fix up fucking anything in it, probably. That's like the lead. I mean, Capcom's like never really been known for their stories anyway. No, no. But like, just the annoying thing is that they had like a pretty good setup for this one and they just squandered it. Like, that's the, that's the annoying part about it. Like, I'm not expecting fucking Witcher 3 levels of story and lore and shit, but like, Fucking anything even in that ballpark would have been better than what they have in this game. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Like, ugh. It, I remember when I first finished the game, <clears throat> I was pissed at the ending. I'm like, this is... Fuck, fuck you. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I was like, this is dumb. Like, what the fuck were you guys thinking? <laughs> they were thinking, oh, shit. We gotta get this game out. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know what? At the end of the day, I'm ha I'm still happy that they made it because then at least like they're aware that there's a, a fan base that wants like more doom doomer. Yeah. Let me zoom in on your face. Oh. Got right in the ear. <laughs> Maybe one day they'll oh, make this oh, game good, oh, oh, oh. and then I'll play it. I still enjoyed my time with this game, but it's I can see why it wouldn't necessarily convince you to like pick it up because it's like there's like I say there all of the like same mistakes that were in the first game are pretty much here in the second one, and and of course they've added some new ones too, which is like I don't understand why the fuck they managed to do that. Yeah, it's like they like kind of remembered like the first game. And they're like, well, we should kind of make that again. And then they did that. And then, like, they just chose not to improve upon anything. <laughs> but, like, yeah, the graphical upgrade will be enough for people. Like, you know. I mean, that is one thing. This game is far prettier than the oh, first yeah. one. Oh, yeah. I think it looks pretty nice. Oh! You guys! You gotta keep him off of me! I'm the archer! Yeah, come on, guys. I'm the archer! Oh, God, where's my team? Team! I'm on the flag, guys. Where's my team? Big stretch. Yeah, that was a big hit for no real payoff there. Yeah, fucking whipping it. I shoot the thing out of his hand, I think. Yeah, I should, I'll just keep going for his eyeball. Yeah, it. it's just easier. Man, I would not like to play oh! this thing in real life. Oh! Come on, bitch. Yeah, get me in my eyeball. <laughs> oh. Ah! Ah! Oh, this fucking hurts, dude. Yeah, right in his chin. Right in his double chin. I mean, that'd be sick if I fucking actually could do anything with it in the chin. But fuck, fuck you, bitch. You <laughs> kick its razor. <laughs> Get his fucking face in. <laughs> roundhouse. Do it pretty good, man. I'll just keep fucking roundhousing him in the face. <laughs> yeah, bitch. I fuck guys like you in prison. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> roundhouse, right. roundhouse, yeah. roundhouse, roundhouse. Alright, rip his throat out. <laughs> <laughs> If they didn't have that in the remake of, of Roadhouse, like, I don't want to watch it. Yeah. If he doesn't say, I fuck guys like you in prison, then I don't, yeah, I don't want to be a part of it. Melissa watched that. I don't know that she liked it or not. I don't know. Round Roadhouse? The original Roadhouse is a fucking classic. Yeah. That movie's great. But then they, they remade it. Like, you know that, right? They remade yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I've never watched it, but. I haven't watched it either. Who do they got playing? Jill and Hall. Jill Hall's uh, Dalton Braddy. Mm. And uh, what's that guy's name? Connor McGregor is the bad guy. Yeah, oh, man. not as... Not as eye-catching as... Uh, Swayze? Yeah, Swayze. Well, plus, they don't have Sam Elliott, so... Oh, yeah, you can't... You can't replace They him. mention his character in it, though. Oh, that's good. And I guess they're planning on making the another one, like a sequel to the remake, 
it's all about. Yeah. And they're going to have, Elliot. well, I think Sam Elliott might make a cameo. I think that's what they're trying to do anyway. Maybe he'll be, like, his character's father. No, I think he'll still be the same character in the universe, but, like, uh... Down the line. Yeah, just like old. old. Uh, you see, I don't see that character living to be that old, though. I don't either. <laughs> So well, considering in the first movie, I'm pretty sure he died, didn't he? Yeah, he <laughs> like, does. He died. So he definitely dies. He gets he gets murdered. Hey, Billy, check it out. This is one of the four, three or four new enemy types in the whole game. <laughs> goo. It is goo. Oh no. The classic slime. Uh -oh. Just looks like you're fighting water. Yeah. You would do nothing to it if you were shooting an arrow into it. Yeah, you can only really do any damage to it with uh, with magic. Yeah. But I don't have any magic, because so, I'm an archer. So I'm just going to shoot the fuck out of it. <laughs> loose. Loose. How the fuck? Loose. Oh, loose. I need to get some new pawns, too. Shit, I didn't realize they're only level four. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're pretty low. I was wondering why you, uh, you hadn't... Changed them out, but I didn't. I see didn't there. didn't realize it. Yeah, maybe it's a lead strat or something. Yeah. Well, actually, if you have low level pawns, the monsters will spawn in at their level rather than. Oh my! Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Chadwick, get in there. What are you doing, Chadwick? You look terrible. <laughs> it is. Like, I feel terrible. <laughs> Can't tell. <laughs> I woke up after Mistress Chitara had her way with me. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, enough of that. Thanks. I kind of sometimes hate that I don't have any control over when I can do that. Alright, I gotta make sure I use my abilities more. Yeah. Here, destroying eggs. Yeah, I wish that had like an actual impact on like this like spawn rate of the enemies, but it don't. Yeah, would have been cool. Just to like maybe you need like to, to, to kill the children then. Well, what I mean is like, you, what would be nice is like if they had a mechanic where like you could actually like go out and, like, like kind of secure the area yeah like a secure bit. routes like obviously like you know at some point the infestation will come back to some degree but like yeah. like if i see all these eggs and i clear it like this place should be clear for like a week in game or some shit i don't yeah. know you know do like any of those ubisoft games where like yeah like you, you, know, can... you uncover the area and now the area is now safe yeah it's safe for passage but no I don't do that. Because at first, too, when I played this game, I thought I thought that they finally did fix the issue where, like, you know, from the first game, where the enemies all spawn in the same spots. Mm -hmm. But no, they did. They didn't. Like that's still, still exactly. Still yeah, like that's like a main thing that people complain about in the first game, and here, here they are. They do the same fucking thing again. Like so, yeah, like people wanted like you know, um, some more enemy variety and more enemy like spawn variety, and they just again didn't do it. <laughs> They're just like, ah, oh, no, it's fine. We got lizards, <laughs> like we got was, goblins. Like, you remember the one time we played Lost Planet two and then just complained the whole time? Yeah, that's what this is becoming. <laughs> this Lost Planet two has the same problem. Oh, I know. It could have been so much better. It could have been fucking amazing. But the story is absolute trash. Yeah. The mechanics are off. He's uh, coming back now. She's like, oh, is he still here? Uh, ah! Gotta make sure. I'll sniff him. So right now I'm, I'm on my way to uh, Harv Village, which is the other... Uh... Oh, there's an ogre down there. One of us has been drenched. We might be might be fucked with the ogre. Uh, the ogres are pretty tough early early game here. I like this what they do. They can climb like it's pretty sweet. It's weird that they made ogres into like uh, gorillas. And, like, I know, I know, it is kind of weird. But um, 
Yeah, I'm heading to Harv Village. Oh! Dude, that like straight up half my fucking health. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, back up. I'm an archer. I have to be at range. I'm actually doing decent damage to him. Jesus Christ. Isa, we understand that you're out there. Yeah. Goodbye. Nope. <laughs> like, I'm chipping away his health, actually, by shooting him in the face. Jesus Christ, dude. He does it so fast, and I can't dodge because they didn't make this game any better. <laughs> I have a mod in, in the PC version that lets you dodge, like, with any class. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember you saying that only the, uh, only the, like thief. the thief only the thief can dodge. Which, I, on one hand, I understand it, but at the other, on the other hand, it's like, fuck off. Like, like I get it, because, you know, we have to give each of them a, uh, a unique thing, but make his dodge better then, than everybody else's, or yeah. something. Like, I should still be able to fucking dodge. <laughs> Why is he only aggroed towards me? Because apparently you are the only one that's actually doing any damage. Because I don't see Chadwick fucking going up in there at all. Yeah, mountain, and, dude. And the other ones are fucking, uh... So straight up... Dude, chip damage. Straight up, the, the, um, the thief is by far the most damage-dealing class in the game. Yeah. Oh, he's stuck. So I don't understand why my thief ain't doing shit, but maybe because he's level four. <laughs> Shot right up Kaz's ass. Oh well, whatever. He's stunned now. He's just smiling and giving his fucking face. And why are you just going to jump? <laughs> I was just like, why are you only getting him in the crotch? <laughs> that is not his weak point. I'm going to make him bleed really quickly. I want to make him come first and then bleed. It's the only way we know how to make it come. <laughs> make it happen. Oh, Jesus Christ. God damn it. Drop kicks, yeah. I mean, fair enough. If you got drop kicked by th something that big, like you would, you would get pretty fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can't be that angry. Oh, is he stuck in a loop? Oh, okay. He was, kind of. I mean, I can take him. Yeah. He's, he's got two, like, one and a half life bars left. God damn it. Should be a lot better if everyone else was doing more damage. Yeah. It'd be nice if I could fucking... Um, I'm dead. <laughs> Whoops. Well, he might just slobber on me, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. No. Wait, is he going to rape me? <laughs> <laughs> he's just going to He's just gonna walk around with you? Oh, okay. Oh, well, the, <laughs> she's healing me back to, to life. <laughs> As you're being... As I'm dying. Yeah, fuck it. I don't care. Wake Stone will f bring back all my health so he can two-shot me again. Yeah, just don't, uh, just don't get kicked, and you'll be fine. It's really the only thing that I did. I know. The, it, and it, it's so fast. <laughs> I mean, I think that was another thing actually that they kind of. Um, I know there's a guy on YouTube that like does a lot of testing in the Dragon's Dogma games, and he that was actually one thing that he like, like notably mentioned in this game was that the enemies like just attack randomly and like miss every fucking time so maybe they maybe they fixed that because yeah otherwise like you don't ever fucking get hit by these guys yeah Chadwick are you like okay <laughs> he was I, like I just like being held he was on him like attacking so he wasn't being like wasn't rape being rape carried yeah okay Now you can do, yeah. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Okay. Well. Oh, I'm crawling now. God damn it. Help me up, damn it. Thank you. 
Well, you know what? I haven't had a, a struggle like this in this game <laughs> like in a long time. Because <laughs> this game broadly is pretty easy. Like enemies don't really get are that are usually not that tough. Yeah, like even the higher level enemies are like not that hard. Most of the stuff was pretty telegraphed. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Just fucking yeah. Just keep doing it again. Why are you tagging the groin again? <laughs> Dude's like really <laughs> I remember you did that in, in uh fucking Uncharted once, like you were just only going for dick <laughs> shots, I think, for a period of time. Like, that's uh, what that guy's doing. For some reason he's only doing dick shots. Well it's the most effective. Nobody wants to get hit in the dick. No. Nobody wants to get hit in the dick, but like is that the most... If that's why it's the most effective, effective thing. <laughs> People will dodge it as much as possible. But I mean, you know what? If you if you kick a man in the groin, like that's that'll like usually incapacitate him pretty well. Like yeah. right out the gate, you know? It, it depends upon how, much, how hard you hit him. We got him. That's probably like two levels right there. Yeah, that was. Ugh. Was it? I was level 12? 12. 12, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see? Alright. You got some ogre sperm. <laughs> yeah, I got ogre sperm. <laughs> I was, that guy. I was hoping... He was to... harvesting for it. <laughs> yeah, he was. I was hoping to maybe get to Har Village in time to before the end of the episode, but that's okay. Well, I'll, I'll be able to... Like, I'll reach the village, but we're almost there. But I was gonna try and do like the actual like quest there, but we'll wait. You, you could have if you didn't have these two. Yeah, if low, I low like, level yeah, maybe. I don't know. Oh no, there is a rift stone and harv. Yeah, I should be able to get some new, new pawns there. We're almost there. We're like right around the corner. There might be a couple more saurians, maybe. <coughs> But we're like basically right there. So there no, it is. There it is. Just a couple of harpies. So that this is the other place where that has like that has the main uh, I believe it, you fairy can stone. Hit one of them. Like why would the why would there be a fairy stone or a rift stone here or whatever? Yeah. Like for fast travel. Because you come here all the time. No, you don't. <laughs> I mean, it's important like in late game, sort of, but like not really. You got your zoom. Oh yeah, I do. Oh, that was a bad. That was too late. Too late. Yeah. Where are you at, girly? Actually, if I just did the fat, the quick loose, it just it auto targets. So I don't even have to fucking aim. There we go. Well, I do extra damage when they're not in combat stance. Their weak point is the tail. Yeah, I kind of guess since I saw you always aiming for it. Yeah, for some reason they're a lot easier to kill when their tail is gone. I don't know why. You <laughs> slut! <laughs> Thank you. What do you just do? Because I don't think pawns can revive other pawns. Uh, I thought you might have a you might have a augment that you can get for the pawns that will allow you to do that, but I don't know. Oops, oops. I'm sorry. I was trying to kick the eggs, but I'm not really good at kicking things. Yeah, just pin him down by throwing a shit ton of arrows through his body, make him stuck to the ground. Nope. That'd be cool. No, no, no. I think there is a, an ability that allows you to do that. I like think. Pin, pin cushion them. Well, yeah. Well, it, yeah. like it like is meant to like stun them or hold them in place, like with the arrows. I think. Yeah, I forgot what it's called, but I think there is a archer ability that lets you do that. Hooray! I wasted my other wake stone, but hey, we're here. Hell yeah! Our village, baby. So I gotta fight more Saurians because it's overrun with Saurians. I mean, well, the thing I guess. 
Stormwind Cave or some shit. I don't fucking know. Are we talking like historians? No. Oh. No, Saurians. Oh, Saurians. Sorry, like they're sorry. Yeah, so Canadian. Yeah. Uh. Canadian lizards. <laughs> Is that Geralt walking there? Do you see him? I kind of look like him. Hmm. <laughs> Neckers. <laughs> Ooh, I'm sorry, what did you just say? <laughs> Neckers. Oh, an oh, okay. <laughs> hmm. thought, you, uh, thought you said a hard R. I mean, I did, but it wasn't the word that you thought I said. <laughs> I like the little... Just, that was a good animation. Like football kick. Yeah, that was a good animation. Alrighty. Well, we're here. See you again in three months when we play this game again on the fucking show. <laughs> Next time on Chin Strap Chaps, I complain more about this game. And maybe Chitara maybe grows to be a better person. Maybe they'll have the DLC out by the time we play it again. Wouldn't that be something? Doubt. I just did <laughs> Doubt. <laughs> Can't even form a sentence, you just doubt. <laughs> <laughs>